For this video, I headed up to Fort Fairfield, Maine, so I could take a quick look at the Aroostook Valley Trail. As you can tell from the video, I'm in beautiful northern Maine, Aroostook County to be exact, and I'm walking up the Aroostook Valley Trail. Now this trail is 28 miles long, and uh, I didn't have the time to actually hike the whole thing, so I just took this uh, quick little video of uh, one of the trailheads in Fort Fairfield, right next to the Aroostook River. So this trail is actually a former rail line of the old Aroostook Valley Railroad. Uh, they used to run uh, train service between Presque Isle and New Sweden, Maine. So on the website, it mentions that uh, this uh, trail is open to both uh, motorized vehicles as well as non-motorized vehicles, so hikers, joggers, that type of thing, although it'd be kind of hard to jog on this because of the uneven gravel. Uh, it also says um, this is open year-round, so I'm assuming that um, in the wintertime you can actually use your snowmobile up here, and in the summertime, just your old ATV. The website does warn that this uh, trail goes into some very remote rural areas, so be prepared for backcountry adventures. Uh, I think they're talking about animals and bears and also, uh, you know, inclement weather because the wind was crazy right on the river. I mean, I think the gusts were like 45 miles an hour, and you can tell even with the, uh, the warp stabilizer and Adobe Premiere. To try to steady the shots it was hard to hold a camera straight uh, just because it was so windy out here. So construction of the Aroostook Valley Railroad began in 1909 with tracks running from Washburn to Presque Isle. Branch lines were later added serving the localities of New Sweden, Carson, and Caribou. At its peak the AVR owned fewer than 32 miles of mainland track making one round trip between Presque Isle and Caribou. The Aroostook Valley Railroad was eventually abandoned and it closed down in 1996. That actually surprises me quite a bit because it feels like this uh, rail line has been decommissioned far longer than about 25 years. It seems like much longer than that, uh, the way nature has taken over. But I guess eh, 25 years in Maine and their, their crazy weather, I guess uh, it can get overgrown pretty quickly. Since I don't want to make any assumptions or say anything incorrect on the video, I did look up what were the approved activities out here on the trail, and it specifically mentions ATV riding, cross-country skiing, dog sledding, hiking, horseback riding, off-road mountain biking, snowmobiling, and snowshoeing. So those are all approved activities on this particular recreational trail. And I'm going to add one for it too. I think videography and photography of the absolutely beautiful Aroostook Valley is also high on the list of activities out here because I, I gotta tell you this is probably one of the most scenic uh, places I've ever seen in my life. It's just beautiful up here in northern Maine. As for my bottom line on the Aroostook Valley Trail, this place is absolutely beautiful. If you love to do any of those activities, whether it's horseback riding or ATV riding or snowmobiling or snowshoeing, any of that stuff, this is a great place to come to do that because there's plenty of room to park here on Aroostook Falls Road. You can take your mountain bike up here or your snowshoes and uh, get some just a beautiful uh, scenic views and overlooks of the Aroostook Valley. It is amazing up here. And I granted, I only walked maybe a mile, two miles out of the 28 miles, but you can tell that the rest of it is probably just as scenic as the, the two miles I saw here in Fort Fairfield. This one's pretty straightforward though. I highly recommend it for anyone who loves outdoor activities.
Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Schmuck. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.